You're better than the best. I'm lucky just to linger in Hello and welcome to the 141st episode of the Knit and Pearl podcast. My name is Doris. Today's date is January 4th, 2018. Welcome to all new viewers. Thank you for giving me a shot. Hope that you find something of entertainment and inspiration and that you will come back again. And that if you do so, go down there and click that big red subscribe button and, and give me a thumbs up and I thank you so much. And thank you so much to those of you who keep coming back and supporting me. I so appreciate it. You saw in the beginning of this all of my social media stuff. You can go to the the show notes which is that knitandpearl.net and click on all the social medias Facebook, Etsy, Instagram, Twitter. Click go and find me and follow me in those places and I'll follow you back. What else? This podcast has a Ravelry group also linked in down below, which is the Knit and Pearl, and that's P-E-A-R-L, if I hadn't said that before, podcast group. Happy New Year, you all. Um, let me see, I'm trying to do things a little different, so get a little scattery when I don't mention all the social media, but I think people get tired of hearing that. So I put it in a little card, which you'll see, which you've already seen. We also do Ravelry group birthday shout outs and the birthdays that I'm shouting out are from January 1st to January 15th. And there are two birthdays. The first is Frog Princess 21 CA, who is Tanya. Her birthday is on the 14th of January, and we have Nadia B54, who is Nadine, and her birthday is on the 15th. So happy birthday, ladies. I hope that you will have a wonderful birthday, that you get good gifts, that you get to spend time with friends and family, um, and that you eat birthday cake. <laughs> Happy birthday. And if you don't, if you had a birthday between January 1st and 15th and you don't share that on Ravelry, happy birthday to you as well. Okay. Um, that just brings us right to Story of the Week and Stash Enhancement. I got a little stash for Christmas. Just a little. Seriously, just a little. Remember... December 1st, the weekend, Ted and Melissa were in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and they went to Stephen B's and teased me, and I demanded that they buy me something. So here is some beautiful fiber. Let me put this down. pink and purple. Do they know me? Oh, it's so pretty. And it is from Anzella, Anzula Luxury Fibers, hand dyed spinning fiber, and the color is Stargazer. I can't see if you can see it or not. I'm going to try to get my face out of it. Here it is. It is 84% superwash merino, 16% sparkling Stellina, and it says the theme is garden. It's four ounces. And here it is. Beautifulness ready to be spun up. And I also got a most gorgeous, incredible bat called Peacock. <sighs> and I had to dig into it and I busted the bag that it came in, so. Let 
It's for, I'm sorry, I'm reading the label because, oh my God, look at this bat. And of course I had to open it up. And when I opened it up, oh my gosh, there, there's peacock feathers, okay? There's peacock feathers. <laughs> this has superwash and non-superwash merino. Firestar, Angelina, Nips, Silk, and Bamboo. It is called Peacock Frost Yarn, and it is by Stephen B. It says Frost Yarn, Frost Yarn at gmail.com, but it says by Stephen B. One more look at, uh, and, and, and when I unfolded it and looked on the inside, there was a bag with some Earl Grey and a piece of candy folded into the middle of this bat. <laughs> wow, I'm blowing out after all of that. <laughs> oh, come on, I don't want to look orange. I guess I'm just going to look a little orange tonight. It's late. I mean, it, it's like, what time is it? Five o'clock, so it's getting dark, so we might have a little light issue. So that's the stash. I didn't buy any other yarn. Excuse me for reaching. I'll put everything back. You don't want to get sparkly all over the living room. Okay, I'm going to put that here. <clears throat> Moving along. Um, I want to do a little year in knitting review. Uh, this year I have done, I was inspired by Sheila from, or, or Blue, Blue Yarn Always from, uh, the Never Cast Off podcast to, it, with this, for crochet. I kept seeing her crochet these beautiful virus shawls and so I picked up a crochet hook and some scrap sock yarn and crocheted this beautiful virus shawl and I haven't looked back since. I have done a lot of crocheting and it renewed my love for crochet this year and I'm, thank you Sheila for that. So I've I've knit I've crocheted a lot of virus shawls and I'm probably going to be crocheting another one soon. So anyway, that's one big thing that happened this year. But I want to kind of go through <coughs> my finished objects for the year 2017. I'm not going to mention every single one because that would take too long, but I have finished 56 items, 19 shawls, no, 14 shawls, Ooh, that would have been crazy, 14 shawls, and one, two, one, two, three, four, five of them were virus shawls. <laughs> For crochet. I knit of, I'm sorry, six hats, one pair of mittens, mug hugs, nine, one scarf, which was the potato chip scarf, and I have knit five, five Zuzu's petals, one stock, sock yarn cowl, one pair of socks, <laughs> and by the way, I don't have my phone in here, Melissa sent me a picture of her wearing the socks and she said she loved them so much, and I told her it only took me a year and a half to make it. <laughs> Two sweaters, 
three dishcloths, two mermaid tails, one of them for a child and the other one for her Barbie. <laughs> I crocheted a market bag, my own design, my own come up with. I knitted a, one baby blanket with a matching teddy bear, two pouches, and I spun six skeins of yarn. So 56 things. That's more than one finished object a week. <laughs> wow. Pretty amazing and I'm very happy with, with my accomplishments. I don't set goals for the year. I just knit what I want to knit or crochet what I want to crochet. So that is the year in review, knit review, but you know, crochet has come into my life again and I'm enjoying it immensely. So New Year's, we spent, we had a cold and quiet New Year's at home and I spent two days in pajamas knitting. <laughs> But it was wonderful. So that brings us to foes. Five foes. I'm going to start with the ones that I completed for 2017. I spun this fiber that came from Stephen B's shop. It is Sweet Georgia. And it is, it's called, the base is Panda. And it is 60% superwash merino, 30% bamboo, viscous, and 10% nylon. I have never, it's 100 grams of spinning fiber. In my history, I have never had good success spinning merino. I've never spun bamboo, never spun nylon, but I'm very pleased with the way this turned out. Um, I got 130 yards of a two fly. It's very pretty. Very happy with it. So what was I going to say? Oh, spinning this, I was not, I, I was, I tried to pre-draft, you know, break, uh, split it, pre-draft it, and spin it, but when I pre-drafted this, it just like fell apart. So, I just split it and just spun it, and it turned out. I'm very proud of this. I'm so happy that I had this much success with Merino. So, and I love it. It's very pretty, but it's 130 yards. So tell me what I could make with 130 yards. I don't know. I, I did do some searching, but I haven't had success in finding the right pattern yet. But that's a finished object in 2017. The next thing I finished, <laughs> I did finish, that's another thing. I do have another finished object. I did finish the ear flap hat. I don't have a picture or anything because it did go as a, as my um, gift. Like I call it elephant, white elephant gift, but it's like we all bring a gift. A unisex gift and put it in a box and we play this game rob your neighbor for Christmas and the person who got that loved it and took it home with them so I didn't even get a picture sorry bad podcaster but after I finished that I'm like I have enough yarn left over so I knit <laughs> a Christmas Zuzu's petals it was finished after Christmas but I did get it, I did wear it a few times, and I love it, it's beautiful. And so now it will go into 
my um, storage until next Christmas, but it's so beautiful. I love the drape of this. This is, um, this is Red Heart Super Saver <laughs> in the mistletoe colorway. I used US 9's high, um, Chow Goose, which is a 9 is a 5.5 millimeter and it's a 24 inch circular. I love the drape of this and I steamed blocked it. If you don't know, when you steam block acrylic, you cannot put your, your iron on the fabric or it will melt. You float it over the top of it as close as you can get without touching it and, and steam it after you pin it out. And it's just beautiful. I mean, steaming this made a huge difference. It's soft. It's comfortable. It's lovely. That's enough about that. <laughs> the project that I completed on New Year's. I'm so proud of it. It is Azusa's petals. <laughs> I was sitting there Saturday night. Oh, let me just tell you. And nothing was inspiring me. I didn't want to crochet. I didn't want to do anything that I had, the socks or whatever. And I looked over at my stash of hand spun and I'm like, that's it. I'm knitting a hand spun Zuzu's petals. And here it is. <laughs> the yarn is the, the fiber that I spun in the video from fiber to yarn. I will try to put a link in the show notes to that video and also in the down bar below so you can click and watch me spin this stuff. But okay, so another thing is um, for the worsted weight or heavy weight pattern it calls for 155 yards. Well, I had 174 yards, so I obviously didn't get gauged, but I don't care. I love the way this fits. So I ran out of yarn, and so I went diving in my hand spun for some precious extras. So I had a little bit of, I'm sorry, of the, of the pink it's, it is toe shoe from um, Yarn Geek Fibers. I knit my first, um, what do you call it, hand spun cowl with this. And then this is also from Yarn Geek Fibers. It is called Lady Godiva. And I made a very precious, so this has memories. Both of these yarns also have wonderful memories. This was the, the handbrake, I made the handbrake cowl with this, which is a pattern from the Bakery Bears when they were going, doing, giving um, the proceeds to cancer research. So this is my hand spun Zuzu's Petals. It's beautiful. I wore it to work this week and people would not stop raving about it. So I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on. And I just want to say, I love it so much. I love the drape of it. I love, even though I gauge is bigger than what the pattern calls for, this is what I love. And in this light, you can't see how striking it really is. It's just gorgeous. I'm so happy with the way the yarn knit up. And let me just also say, if Christy Glass ever asked me what my favorite projects, all-time projects were, I would have to tell her this Zuzu's Petals. I have two. And this Zuzu's Petals <laughs> are my favorite all-time projects that I knit. This is from Handspun from On the Round 
Cosmic Rainbow. And this by Handspun. Zuzu's Petals. I, okay, I started this Saturday, the 30th of, of November, December. Saturday evening. And I did, I got most, well, probably this much done Saturday evening into Sunday morning. Went to bed, got up Sunday, and finished it. This is a potato chip knit and the, I didn't even tell you who the pattern is it's by um, Zuzu's Petals by Karina Spencer it is a paid for pattern on Ravelry it's awesome and I love it and I recommend anyone who has never knit it go grab it and knit it it is a beautiful accessory that will keep you warm you can wear it under your coat I wear it all day I wore this one all day. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. I have some more finished objects that I finished this year. So <clears throat> I finished, yes, uh, I guess it was Monday or Tuesday of this week. I finished this shawl that was in my work's in progress for a while. It is just um, fly by my seat of my pants. The actual beginning of this shawl was from the beginning of um, the cozy schlanket. And then I just knit and striped these two colors. This is um, Cascade Eco, I believe, in the two colors, orange and, and gray. It's huge. <laughs> and squishy and I love it it's huge <laughs> huge 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 and warm 100% wool it's beautiful beautiful so that's done I need to, to weave in the ends it's been blocked already it's done it's not really my colors but it'll be warm and nice. Finally, if you haven't noticed, I finished my Wonder Woman shawl. This is <laughs> huge. Let me just tell you, it's huge and I love it so much. It is a Wonder Woman in worsted weight Wonder Woman in the wondrous size. A worst did you want to know how big a worsted weight wondrous size crocheted Wonder Woman shawl is? I can't even show you the magnitude of what this looks like. It is huge, huge, huge. And I'm smiling because I'm so in love with it. And it's so funny. But I'm so happy that I did it. I need to weave in the ends. I finished it last night at 12 something. Or this morning at 12 something. And I had to go to work today. <laughs> Let me just kind of give you the magnitude of how big this is around me. <laughs> It almost touches the floor. <laughs> it's huge. And I love it so much. It's going to be so warm to wear by the campfire in the spring. It'll be a camping type of shawl that I wear to keep warm. The yarn is nothing special. It is the... <clears throat> okay. The Wonder Woman Shaw is a crocheted free pattern on Ravelry by Clarissa Browning. The yarn is Mainstay Basic Yarn, Walmart brand. 100% acrylic in yellow and red. The crochet hook I used, I think, had a big thing to do with the how wonderful it was. It was a J hook, but it was a Knit Picks wooden needle 
cro I mean hook that I've, I've never used a wooden hook and I absolutely it was a joy to crochet with so it's huge and I'm smiling because I just love it so much <laughs> and I think it's funny that it's so big <laughs> so that's a lot of finished objects you guys and so I have one work in progress yeah that's it one work in progress in a bag from my Taurus bag from uh, thank God for bags if you remember I had a sock in here on those flexi flips and so I I cast it on again on the flexi flips I guess it was New Year's or the day after and I was tr I was trying so hard to use those flexi flips to see if I could do deal with them and I just was having a miserable time and I'm like you know what why am I bothering if I'm not enjoying it so I moved my sock onto a high high sharp and I'm magic looping and I'm so much happier <laughs> so there's a link in the show notes to the um, Addy flexi flips and I just want to tell you if you want them if you want my pair let me know the first one to say yes I want them and you're in the United States they're yours to try first one who responds and says yes I'll take them <coughs> Okay, the, not in the down bar below. The first one to reply to me on Ravelry private message telling me they want them and giving me their address, I will f send them to you because I'm not going to use them. I don't like them. I don't like the way they feel and the way they knit. A lot of people like them and, and are having great success. I was not, so I don't want them. I'm all about enjoying my knitting. I like the process of knitting and I like the product. If you watched last week, I told you that I got huge ladders using them with this. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm knitting a sock. Just a vanilla sock with this opal yarn that's been in deep stash. Here is the name. Somebody told me it was Winter something was the name of the yarn. I don't remember. But I think it's in the in the show note in the uh, thread of this video or in Ravelry. I'll have to remember to look that up so I'll know what the name is. Anyway, enough of that. I'm babbling. Anyway, started it with the flexi flips again. Didn't like it. Switched back to Magic Loop. That is all the works in progress. I have next ups things because I don't have anything on the needles besides this sock and the other sock which I haven't really worked on this week so because I was busy finishing. <laughs> I am spinning. I'm spinning a loop bullseye bump that I received as a gift from a special friend. Thank you so much. You know who you are. Um, and it is in the, the Blackberry coordinate color and it is Merino, Nylon, and Angelina. And it isn't starts out as black and then it goes into a maroon and then a, 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 a medium pink into a light pink. And I'm spin I've got a probably about half done with it and my plan is to chain ply it and keep the colors because you know maybe it'll be a Zuzu's petal who knows <laughs> so next ups I have plans to get the eyeball shawl back out and work on it 
finish it and also to start the Ninel Chick Swancho, my first, my first um, color work. So I'm a little nervous about it, so I'm hoping that it goes okay. I got the pattern, I got the yarn, so that's coming up. So Pinterest, just for fun, another just for fun. As we know, a lot of us have, okay, come on. A lot of us have started going to the gym and trying to make um, good New Year's Eve resolutions to be healthier and whatever. So, not whatever, you know, we all need to do that. But I came across this last night and said, so funny. And so here it is, if you can read it. It was so windy walking to the gym today that I was blown into the yarn store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny. And the stumble this week is it's actually seven TED Talks. It says seven TED Talks for happiness. I'm coming up to it. That will make you happy and smarter. The title says seven talks on happiness that will make you smile from ear to ear. I sat and watched all of them last night and was brought to tears, laughed, inspired, terribly inspired and this is going to start playing. I hope it, uh, anyway. So if you are at all interested in spending a few minutes watching very inspiring and encouraging stories, click on the link in the, in the show notes, go over. And if you don't have a stumble upon account, it's very simple to do. Just make an account. Nothing's going to, nobody's going to steal your identity or anything. It's just a really awesome, place where you can go and put your interest in and stumble. I don't know that if you don't have an account that you can't link on it, click on it, but please try to click on it and see if you can go to it. And if you have time, these are wonderfully awesome stories to inspire and encourage and make you happy. <clears throat> so that brings us to the end where there is a link to my Ravelry store, not Ravelry store, Etsy store, please click on it, go over and like a few things, and if you find something that you can't live without, I will happily sell it to you and ship it to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go, if you haven't, to subscribe, to click the thumbs up. If you're in iTunes, that you would leave a, a star rating and a review, and I would thank you so much. So, until next time. Bye. You make me dance like a fool, forget how to breathe, shine like gold, buzz like a bee, just the thought of